hey guys welcome to a new video and as you can see in the title we'll be going over the new halloween update they got added to scum uh for this halloween season they had a few nice little additions in this year and uh, a couple other additional things that are worth noting but before we get into that uh we're gonna take a second to check out the new haunted house and the catacombs they added in um they had this last year it wasn't as, as expansive as they have this year. So uh, it's definitely worth going to the location to go check it out. It's in the north of the map. It's to the west of the lake in D3, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, double check me on that. But uh, it's not hard to find out if you Google it. But uh, definitely some new additions in it. Definitely atmospheric. Definitely worth checking out at night. But also guys make sure to stick around to the end of the video as i'm going to share some information that the devs didn't mention in the notes that could potentially save you your life so make sure to stick around to the end so you can catch that all right but without further ado let's check out this haunted house not so scary during the day Check this out. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, <laughs> some ritualistic stuff been going on here, man. Some sacrifices. So many, it's like dead animals everywhere. Oh, man. Oh, there's a body hanging up there. Oh, there's several bodies hanging in the tree. Puppet bodies. Ah, that's pretty terrifying. <laughs> you know, we could use more places like this in the game. I'm not even going to lie. Like, more places with, like, a uh, more sinister, more, uh, I guess, a darker theme. Uh, an atmosphere, which I think the devs are working on, but this really does kind of arouse curiosity and suspicion. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's. Oh, wait. Wait a second here, buddy. What you doing over there in the corner? I'll tell you what. Just in, cra in case. My buddy here wants to try something. Don't even think about it. Don't you think about it. <laughs> okay, I'll, I think he's oblivious to me right now. I think I'm all right. Oh man! Look at him. Oh, it's a, oh, scary man. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. This reminds me of a uh, Escape from Tarkov, like the Mark rooms. I am not resting in here. No, no, thank you. That's not my cup of tea. This guy here. I'm sure this is. Oh man! <laughs> Imagine coming here at night. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave him be. Uh, he looks like he's a bit busy in here, so let's close this door up. And yeah, you can have that. I'll be on my way. Oh, that's a chopping block. Or, uh, it's like a, what do you call it? Like a prisoner block, I guess? Torture block? Yeah, torture block. It's 
So there's supposed to be some catacombs somewhere around here. I think. I'm only going by word of mouth here. I'm not 100% sure. I know there's catacombs. I'm not sure where. I thought they were. I heard they were like nearby. Nearby in the hills. Maybe they're in another location. I'll have to go back and look. But uh, I definitely would be interested in checking those out, exploring those. Oh wait, I think I think I found them. Is this it? Oh, this is. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Okay. Wow, that was really hidden, man. <laughs> okay. So the catacombs are like, so if you come in from the entrance way there, coming straight forward, there's a house. I guess south west from the house up into the hills and right behind these bushes you'll find the catacombs it's very ducked out very ducked out man you just duck down you can get in here okay I can't see a thing though oh man this is this is pretty cool. I hope I can get out of here, man. <laughs> oh. Dude, I'll imagine. I can imagine how dark it would be in here at night. Someone can be camping in here, hiding. Oh, what the heck? Ours are bats. Okay. Can I get in here? Oh. Dude, this is cool, man. This is cool. There's like body bags in there. A coffin. Oh, man. This is atmospheric as freak. <laughs> and I'm here in the, during the daytime. I can imagine coming here at night. Oh, there's some marks there. Oh, dude. Oh, there's a there's a body. Oh, these are cough these are like these are like uh coffins, like wall coffins. Oh shoot. Okay, let's not get too close to him. That thing is strapped with freaking explosives. Uh, yeah, let's let, let's not mess with that guy. Oh, shoot. Death. Oh, bro. Dude, this is freaky, man. Did I see that thing move? It's twitching. Oh, dude, it's, it's freaking twitching, man. <laughs> I'm going to not mess with him, dude. Okay. Whoa. What the frick? Uh, okay. Man, this is freaking ghoulish, man. Oh. Don't open death inside. I will heed your advice on that one. Dude, this is creepy, man. I wonder if they're going to leave this here, like, even after the event's over with. The Halloween event. Okay, so that's... Oh, this is one of the whales. Like, within the uh, courtyard. Wow, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. I wonder if they're going to leave this here, though, like after the event. 
because this will be kind of like a really atmospheric, <laughs> cool place to kind of like draw people in and, and kind of, I guess, like <laughs> scare them. This is cool. This is we definitely need more ducked out spots like this, and it just adds to oh man, it adds a sense of exploration and discovery in the game. Then you can find it'd be cool if you can find like special items as well, like hidden around, like a special like sword or something. Man, that would be pretty cool. Man. Wow, man, <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get out of here now, though. Hopefully, I can. Hopefully, I'm not stuck. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Man, I could imagine coming down here at night, man. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Man, that is that is awesome. That's awesome. We could definitely use more places like this in the game. What is this? Oh, I can't pick it up. Okay. Yeah, we could definitely we could definitely use more places like this in the game, and this is this is really cool, bro. All right, so uh, there you have it, guys. If you haven't checked out the the new uh, Halloween update uh, ghoul spot, there it is, man. Uh, definitely go check it out. It's worth looking at. Definitely, definitely come here at night. Don't be like me and come during the day. Um, not that I was chicken or anything, but you know when I logged in, it was just daytime, so uh, I decided to come on up. But uh, come here at night, man. I imagine the atmosphere is even spookier and crazier, man. Uh, shouts out to Dale for putting this together. Really cool. And don't forget to check out the catacombs as well. But uh, great job, man. Great job. Yeah, guys, make sure to go check that out. It was cool. I really enjoyed it. And it's always fun to check that out every year. Uh, moving on, though, to the new barber shop they added into the game. Uh, new option for custom customization. Uh, you can go here. There's an NPC there. He's got a shop set up. Really nice and cozy. Uh, really colorful guy, as you can see. Uh, all you have to do is go there. There is a premium price you have to pay to have your uh, hair and makeup done, which is, it'll run you about $6,800 plus, uh, which is really hefty, man, if you ask me. But um, I guess you have to put a price on certain things. You know, it's just how it is. But you can go here and get your hairstyle changed up. There's additional colors you can take uh, to change your hair. And you can have your makeup uh, redone as well. So cool addition overall. Um, very uh, nice. The males will be coming later on. There's only females right now. Uh, when they do the rework on the males, then uh, they'll have options here as well to come get their uh, aesthetics changed. All right, so moving right along, next up is called the Trainer's Axe. This was a axe added in by the devs, uh, paying homage to an individual who is a blacksmith, really, really skilled blacksmith, who did a few items in the game for them. And so they add this in the game to pay homage to him. Uh, this is probably going to be like my favorite axe now because it looks so aesthetic. It looks very well designed. And it's also really capable in melee combat. Uh, one thing I noted about it is it is shorter uh, in, I guess, backpack size than the small axe, but it's also wider. So uh, I guess it's kind of like a little bit of a trade off to it. But uh, definitely, if you can get your hands on this thing, definitely check it out. And it's definitely worth rolling with when you're on Scum Island. And as promised, guys, that last tidbit of information, uh, here it is. I discovered this, and I'm going to leave it with you. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween update. I definitely am. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you. Peace out. So I'm, I'm looting this bucket here, but I noticed something really... It was slight, but I noticed something really different. And uh, let me show you guys, because this could potentially uh, 
can cost you your life. But uh, as you know, we have the big bunker doors here. Do you notice anything different about them? And let me run a, let me run this back real quick. So I'm closing this door up now. Okay. They make a different sound now. And not only that, but when you open them up. Just take a look. They actually fully open up now. These doors fully open up now. The devs did not mention that, and it was not like that before the Halloween update. So they just did this adjustment. So, guys, be careful and be wary of that because uh, I went to leave out this bunker here, and the doors open all the way up. And as you can see, you can be you can be spotted now. Like you can't you can't peek the doors at the entrance anymore. Like right here on the corners, and just sneak your way out. Uh, so I almost got killed, you know, once I realized that. Um, it's interesting that they did that. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe they just want want to make things a little bit more challenging uh, when you're raiding the bunkers. But uh, I, I guess that's something you guys should definitely be looking out for and definitely be taking note of because, uh, yeah, they can definitely get you killed. You can't uh, peek these doors anymore. So I figured, I figured I'd let you guys know that. 